All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to create a WooCommerce custom product type. Here's the demo. So I have a test product and uh, you see here I have a price. I don't have any gallery images and stuff like that, but I have add to cart and uh, product quantity and stuff like that. But if I open this product in an incognito tab and if I refresh it here, I'm going to see a different price. So the difference is though that if I'm logged in, I'm seeing a I'm seeing $50, right? If I'm logged out, I'm seeing $100. So that's the functionality I'm going to build in this video. Uh, here's how my product looks like in, uh, in the dashboard. So um, the difference here is that um, under product data, I have a new option. I have another option here, uh, which is saying members only, right? So if a simple product, I have a price, regular price and sale price. But if I click on the members only, I have a new input uh, text field here for the price price for members all right so this is what i'm seeing here if i'm logged in so if i change it for example i can make it twenty dollars all right if i refresh this page here i'm gonna see twenty dollars but in my incognito tab i'm gonna see a hundred dollars uh, because i have a hundred dollars as a regular price all right guys so um I'm using a I'm using the storefront theme and I have a storefront child theme installed. I'm gonna build this functionality using just the functions.php file from my child theme. I'm not gonna use any plugins or any stuff like that. Um, so that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Here is my functions.php file. Uh, I opened my VS Code in this folder, uh, which is um, storefront child theme i have the functions.php file and the style.css file these are the two files uh, the most important files uh, for a uh, child theme to make it work so this is how it looks like i have it it's empty this is uh, what you get from woocommerce.com um, default stuff in your functions.php and below this line we can start coding all right um, i already removed everything i uh, don't have any products now everything is empty uh, it's just the child theme installed here. So I'm going to write everything from scratch in case you want to follow along with me. But if not, there's going to be a link in the description from where you can grab the source code. Um, so here we go. First thing is to create an object. You could create a class which is going to extend the WooCommerce product uh, uh, sample, the, the type, the sample type. All right. So uh, to do that, uh, we should type in class. And then we have WC underscore. This is very important. This needs to match WC underscore product underscore. And then here you choose a product type. You can name this object uh, after this uh, underscore. You can name it however you want. So in my case, it's going to be members only like this. And this object extends wc which means woocommerce product underscore simple okay now here we will just uh, leave it for now empty it's important that we created this object we will add a few functions here uh, one of them actually we can add it right now so this function is going to return uh, the product type so um, let's just have it public return uh, product type and then we have public function and we will name it get type no parameters and here we will just return the uh, uh, product type so in my case it's members members only Okay, there's gonna be another function in this object, but we'll add that later on in the in the in the process. Now the first thing is to create. We should add the product type to the dropdown because if I'm going here, if I'm going to the dashboard, click create product. I'll name it test fifteen, for example. I'm gonna add a random uh, description. So here I want to add the product type here in this dropdown. So to do that, I should um, 
add a new function here, but I'm add a comment, add add the product to the drop down. Like this. So here we have a function and the name is add type to drop down to drop down. Um, here we're, we're getting the types like this and then here using the types uh, we add a new type which is the members only make sure this matches this from here all right members only and then here we assign a new option and this option is gonna say members only Here you choose a domain for you. Media. All right, so as a second parameter. And then now we just return the types. We return the types and let's add this in the filter. We have add filter. The first one is the hook, which is the product type selector. And the second parameter is the function we want to call with this hook. Okay, we have this product type selector. Now if I save it and I go back and refresh, refresh my do the, 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 the add new product page, I have here members only. But whenever I click on the members only, the general tab disappears. The inventory tab disappears too. So um, I want to make it so whenever I click on the members only, the regular price and the sales price stay on the page and just the members only price is going to be added below. Uh, but before we do that now, I want to add um, this product type as a uh, taxonomy for WooCommerce, so WooCommerce taxonomy, because uh, if there there is no, so it's going to be an if statement, which is going to check if there is no member uh, members only product type taxonomy, then we should add it because um, uh, sometimes uh, WooCommerce may show some errors and, and stuff like that. So this is just like a, a double um, measurement to add the taxonomy, um, to, add, to add the product type as a taxonomy. So let's do that. Okay, so uh, it's going to be a function and the function name is going to be install taxonomy like this. There is no parameter, but here we'll have an if statement. So we will say if there is no members only product, product type um, uh, taxonomy. add it so I want to add it here so now we have an if statement if it's different than get term by get term by and then here we have the the terms which is the slog the slog and then the product type which is members only members only make sure it matches all the way through here okay members only and then product type like this okay this is a new statement so if it's different than this one then we want to insert this members only uh, term as a product type so we have wp underscore insert underscore term and here we have members only and then we have product type like this okay uh, we should make sure to add this 
to register this as an activation hook so let's do that register underscore activation underscore hook all right and here we want to get the file and then the the function which is install taxonomy okay now below here we want to add um, the um, members only price um, just just to add that field over here as I was saying because um, whenever we click on members only we want to add that field so to do that we should create another function so let's just leave a comment add members only field and then here we have a function and the function is add members only field okay no parameters for this function here we get a, t a global variable which is the product object The product object actually is this function from here as uh, this is this one because whenever we create this class it saves it as a product object so here we have this methods here which we already return the members only uh, product type and then we will call this function later on in the, in, in the code but um, yeah so we get the product object as a global variable and here I'm gonna close the um, PHP tag and I'm gonna add some HTML so here we will have a div um, class and this is gonna be options group and the second class is gonna be show if members only okay and I'm gonna close this div right here and then in this div uh, we will add another just open another PHP tag okay and here I want to add the uh, WooCommerce WordPress text input so let's see why I put this options group because if we take a look here if I click on the simple product and if I inspect it uh, let's see where is it uh, it's a um, general product data so if I click on members only I want to add kind of like a like a like a window like a separate tab uh, page separate tab div because each of this uh, tabs they have kind of like a separate page here it's, it's a separate tab so that's what I'm trying to do now but whenever we'll click on members only there's gonna be a new div here so uh, to do that I put this uh, options group and then show if members only and now here in um, um, I want to add that uh, field so I'm gonna have here WooCommerce underscore WP underscore text underscore input and uh, we will get parameters we will have parameters here so it's gonna be an array and this array is gonna have ID this is the field ID and uh, the ID is going to be members only price this is required and it needs to start with a, an underscore members only price the next one is the label And the label needs to be actually we should escape it so underscore underscore parenthesis and here we will have price for members this is the field type or like label as I already said this stuff is for the dashboard all right and then here is a separator or kind of like a domain um, uh, second parameter I, I'm gonna put Vicode media um, the next line is the value and the value is gonna be the members only price so the value is gonna be the value from the database so to, to grab that value from the database we should call the uh, 
product object and then from this object we get meta we get the meta um, <laughs> okay we get the meta and then here the parameter is going to be we want to get that from the members only price from from this one from here so uh, because this is kind of like it's going to be the label in the database t so let's do that so we'll get get meta and then here we have underscore members only underscore price all right these two needs to need to match and the second parameter is going to be true now the default key is empty we don't have to add anything there uh, we will have a placeholder and the placeholder will we will victor victor what's going on victor the placeholder is gonna say enter price and then the data type is going to be price okay let's arrange this let's make it pretty okay so i have the price and that's it don't forget the semicolons here and that's it close the php tag we have this div closing here and um, okay after this div don't forget to open the php tag like so and here below we want to add an action we want to add this in a in an action in a woocommerce product option pricing so we have add action and the first is the hook so here is going to be woocommerce underscore product underscore options underscore pricing all right and the second parameter is the function name so our function name is add members only field let's put it here semicolons and let's save it boom let's go back and let's refresh let's see what mess we've we've got here okay so if i click on members only nothing happens okay let's let me try one more time it's always like that guys it's always like that i don't know why but but it's always like when i'm trying to show somebody something it doesn't work <laughs> it doesn't work um but this doesn't work because we have to create we have to add a um, let's see what's going on here so we've got options group okay so that's what we should do so whenever we click on this one we should add the new option group um, div because right now what we just did we want to output this stuff in the we want to output this stuff in this field but we don't call it in this option group but then we don't call it we don't show it we don't we don't display it on the screen uh, to the screen so let's do that uh, here I'm gonna um, add an action I'm gonna add an action and I want to add this action um, I wanna, I wanna Add this action to the WooCommerce product option uh, options general product data. Wow, this is yeah. I know this is a long uh, hook, but let's do that. WooCommerce underscore product underscore options underscore general underscore product underscore data okay and the second parameter I don't have a function for this um, I didn't create a separate function but we can add on the second parameter we can actually add a function here without any parameters and this is gonna be an echo this is gonna echo a div div 
div class let's close this div here so I was saying that we want to add a, an options group options group and also show if members only I want to show this only if we choose the members only uh, tab and then clear and just leave it empty for now just don't forget the semicolons here and here so let's save it let's see what's going on here now okay uh, blah, blah, blah 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 let's go back refresh the page and if I click let me close this if I click on the members only we see the general tab appears already on the left side but we don't have anything here so it's it's empty and to, uh, to um, um, this is because all this stuff is is wor works with JavaScript guys so if I click on simple product um, this is a uh, there's a JavaScript function that's being fired you know it's being called if I click on members only I have to uh, enable the the product JavaScript for this page in order for this tab to to work now so to do that I should add another uh, action so I'm gonna create another function I'm just leave steps like this um, I'm gonna leave a comment let's do add show if advanced um, I don't know let's do that enable product JavaScript so here we have a function and this is gonna say enable underscore product underscore JS we won't have any parameters but here uh, I'm gonna declare two global pro uh, um, um, variables one is the the post and the second one is the product object like this and here I'm gonna have a little validation so I will check mm, I will check if it's different than post then I will just uh, I'll just put a return here which means it's gonna is gonna skip um, it's gonna stop the execution of the code which means which means if I don't have a post then there's not there's n there's nothing I can work with and I want to do the same thing for the um, uh, uh, want to check the post type if it's not a product post type then I'm gonna do the same thing because I wanted to fire this functionality just for the products so I'm gonna have another if this is gonna check if the product it's different than um, post post type I'm gonna do actually like this here I'll put return and if so if this is not a product post type then I'm gonna escape it I'm gonna exit okay now here is what's important I want to here I want to check I want to get the type the, the the product type so that's why I want to I was saying that I'm gonna add a new functions here a new function in the WooCommerce product members members only and this function is actually gonna get the price um, um, let me think let me think let me think guys so we get this stuff here okay I think we're good for now I just don't want to make it too complicated for you um so yeah never mind about that um but we have get type so we have this function here there's a reason why i put this function here because now i'm gonna use it so i'm gonna call it now and i will check to see what this function returns and i'm gonna assign everything to a new variable which is going to be is uh, members only so this variable is gonna be is underscore members only and then I ha here I'm gonna sign um, a true or false value so if the product type is um, if the product type is members only then I, this is gonna be true if not then this is gonna be false so 
here I have product object and members only equal to product object get type so if this is true then I return true otherwise I assign false okay now I have this stuff here I'm actually gonna close this tag because I want to add some JavaScript stuff here so I'm gonna have a script tag and the script tag uh, I'm gonna have a type and the type is text JavaScript okay and here I'm gonna um, use the jQuery 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 document so this is gonna fire only whenever the page is fully loaded and ready then here we'll have a function and uh, and here we will um, here we will add a class to the general product data so product data ID so uh, which means that we are adding st we're, we're, we're gonna add um, the content to the missing part from here the stuff we're gonna add it here Uh, let me see something here. I want to show you something. Uh, okay, you see this tab here? This is where I want to add the content to. So in order to do that, we should use jQuery and to add a new class, which is going to be show if uh, show if members only. And we created this class show if members only. Uh, it's here. So that's where we want to inject kind of this stuff in this section over here okay so let's do that I'm gonna leave a comment for uh, let's say for for price tab and then here I'm gonna use jQuery and I will put this ID from here which is general product data like this and uh, pricing all right and then I have dot add class and then here is the class name that I want to inject I want to add which is add members only oh, wait uh, show if members only where is that this one show if members only semicolon and here Okay, so here we will open PHP tag and here we will add a small, um, it's going to be an if statement and it's going to check if is member only. So if this is true, all right, if this po um, product type is members only, uh, then we will uh, show the general product data ID and the pricing and the pricing um, uh, class. Okay, so here we have jQuery. Jesus Christ, I'm talking about something. So we have we have if and check is members only. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Honestly, it's like two two o'clock at night, it, or in the morning. Whatever you can you can say whatever you want, and uh, I'm just kind of tired. But um, okay, so we have is members only. Is members only. We have this open curly brackets make let's close this php tag here and let's open it over here and now in this if statement we will add the uh, jquery jquery line uh, which is gonna show this cl uh, id and class so here we have the id is gonna be general product data like this and we want to show also the pricing 
class like this okay we've got this closed here this is here now let's add this we forgot to open the PHP here now let's close let's add the let add action and let's add this function to the admin footer so let's add all this stuff to the footer admin footer and enable product js so let's just copy this stuff from here because it's gonna be easier this way just make sure I'm not misspelling anything else tonight <laughs> okay all right let's save it let's see what's going on here so if I refresh this page reload reload the page and if we let me close this if we select members only it's still not showing up it's still not showing up I think I misspelled it here you guys probably already saw it okay let's go back let's go back come on Victor quick 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 whoa okay let's go back let's see here members only voila yeah we have this field here everything is good everything is fine everything works fine uh, but there's just one thing though we should uh, we should save the data whenever we submit the the, the 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 form we should store this data in a database so to do that we should create a new uh, function all right and the function name is going to be save members only price And here as a parameter we will get the post ID and here we will assign to a variable to a price variable and here we will have we, we will actually check if there's any data um, in the post method so we have is set and then here we have post and here's the field name which is underscore members only price where is it because we created here like this so um, if there's any data in here then we sanitize the text field so we'll use the sanitize text field function to do that field and then here we have underscore post and let's see what else oh that's why we want to sanitize we want to sanitize this stuff from here um, otherwise we just assign an empty string and then here we just update the post meta so post ID we'll just find the, the entry with the post ID and we update the value for the members only price label price like this <coughs> price um, so let's not forget to add this action in, in an action add action and the first the first hook is uh, WooCommerce process product meta uh, members only yeah this is something really long T but um, WooCommerce underscore process underscore product underscore meta underscore members members only this word right here it's really important guys if you are changing if you want to change the um, 
uh, product type you want to change this name from here everywhere you make sure you change this stuff here because otherwise you're gonna um, it's not gonna work and then the second parameter is of course our function so let's semicolons here um, there is one thing though about the price I still was talking about this function from here but uh, we still have to add this function which is um, this function is actually going to output to show the price to the logged in members only on the product page so so here we will have a public function and we will name it get price we will have a context and we will assign to this context view because this, this context has two actions by default from WordPress view and edit in this case we want to use just the view because we want to view the price and here we'll have a new statement and this is going to check if the user is logged in so is user logged in and um, if the user is logged in then we assign the, the members only price to the price variable so we have a price variable and then we assign this just because we work in an object get meta and then here we have underscore members only underscore price and the second parameter is true so here now we have another if statement we check if it's numeric if it's numeric if the price is numeric then we return the price make sure I didn't misspell anything here okay and then here I'm just gonna return the price so I have this uh, get props and I have price and context So let's save it, let's go back and let's see if this is gonna work. This better work, this better work. Okay, let's do testing RPO product. Blah, 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 blah. And we choose the members only, a regular price. What regular price, let's put $9. And the price for members, let's put $1. Let's click publish. Scroll down. All right, we've got this. We've got this. Members only is in place. It's choose by default. Now let's open this in a new tab and let's see. Oh, whoa. Functions 37. 37. Okay, I misspelled this numeric. And I checked it, guys. I checked it for misspellings. All right, so I have one dollar here, um, which it's good because that's the way it should work because I'm logged in. But if I'm gonna open this one in a an incognito tab like this one, if I paste it, forty one functions forty one. Context, context, Victor, context. <laughs> you guys probably already saw. Okay, still no. 41 qualify member members only get props. Get props. Um it's not get props. This should be get prop. Okay, we see nine dollars. Uh, sorry about that guys. So here so it works. Right, works. But you see one thing that's missing here, and that thing is the add to card button. Because um, your function, your um, your theme may be working, but I don't know. I was working with this storefront theme. Uh, I will also actually activated the 2020. Let me activate this, just to see. 
if I refresh it you see it no uh, no it doesn't work it doesn't work it's, it even shows me nine dollars which is not good let's go back okay so the add to cart button is missing now let's add that button here uh, let's make sure everything works fine uh, to add the add to cart button uh, we should actually create a new function and then to add a new action so here the function is going to be add add cart button and here we have global and we get the product and then here we get the ID the product ID so we get ID and we assign the product get ID and then here we will check uh, we will check the product type and if the product type is members only then we will output the form to add the, the form to add the um, to add to the cart because there is going to be the quantity t so let's do this first if um wco so we have if wc underscore product underscore uh, factory and then we have get product type get product type and we get the product ID which means we're getting the product type of the current uh, current product product ID so if the product type is members only then we will echo the add to cart form so uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to make it a simple product I'll update it I'm gonna go back I'll refresh and I will inspect to see what's the HTML code for this stuff here so if I'm looking carefully here it's a form so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the HTML of this entire form and I will paste it here like this and the form action I'll remove the form action like this um, what else can we do here testing product quantity um, you can you can actually play around with this stuff from here but the most important thing is uh, I want to see the product ID so this is the quantity size value uh, value one by default okay so this is the value here this is the the add to cart value this is the product ID that um, I want to add dynamic so it's gonna be ID like this and uh, let's see what else is there anything else I don't see anything else here so let's save it let's go back let's uh, update this to members only update now let's go back refresh the page and we have one dollar but the the form is not showing up the add to card is no it's not showing up and guess why because I didn't add an action I didn't add the action that's why and we should add this action to the WooCommerce single product summary underscore single underscore product underscore summary and the second parameter is the function name and actually is also the priority uh, kind of like the position I use I like to put 15 because the 15 is the last position here so if we refresh it now we've got the button here now and we can add it to the cart and the same with incognito tab I can choose two for example add to cart and this is gonna add it to the cart and in the cart we see that we have a testing product 
the quantity is 2 and the total price is 18. And from here we can just view the card or we can go to the checkout page. We can update the quantity to 3 and we click update the card and we get 27. Uh, proceed to checkout and stuff like that. And the same thing here. You know, it's $1. I can add 4 for example. And here I have $4 in total. I can view the card and um, go to the checkout page and just uh, finish the transaction. Alright guys, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for my channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. So, um, thank you very much for your attention and I will see you in the next videos.